welcome back to my channel my name is Tia Louise for those of you that don't know and for those of you that are returning what's poppin how are you I cannot believe we're making it through this vlogmas thing like guys if you watched vlogmas day 8 you saw that we had a little hiccup so that means certain things got switched around in the schedule and things of that nature but we're rolling with the punches you know what I'm saying we're just going with it we're going with the flow we're just making everything work and we're just making it happen so I'm super excited um, today's video is going to be my top five uh, things that are on my wish list now that I'm an adult I feel like once you're an adult you kind of buy everything that you want when you want it or at least that's my motto so I have a problem with like being like oh my gosh I want X Y and Z Cause I'll just buy it. So I just, I don't understand myself. I don't understand. Anyway, so um, yeah, when you're when you're just an adult, you just you use your money however you want to. You pay your bills and you purchase the things that you want. So this list is kind of funny because some of the things I have because I recently bought them, especially with Black Friday sales, everything was going crazy. You feel me? Everything was on sale. Like if you needed it, it was on sale. I promise you. Um, and then some stuff was not on sale and I was confused like what do you mean like a sale that'll make me buy it you know what I mean okay so number one if you do not have an iPad I'm telling you it's easily one of the most slept on Apple devices and literally y'all it's so necessary for just everything that I do. So I can do my editing on it, I can make my thumbnails, I can also use my Creator Studio to upload videos on it. I'm, I'm telling you the amount of times that I'm using my iPad for my YouTube channel is ridiculous. So yeah, the only hassle I do have about Apple products is keeping them on the charger. Like how do you have so many different outlets that you can plug everything up? I got a watch, I got AirPods, I got the computer, I got the iPad like bro can we can we get one like charging station that literally hooks up everything that will be beneficial if you have a charging station that's not from Amazon and not rinky dink and not gonna give up on me in two seconds literally almost all of the charging stations I've gotten from like Amazon or Walmart have given up on me and I'm just like over it but if you have a suggestion for how I can charge all my items like quicker please drop them down below I would definitely need help with that I, I need help with like the organization bit of it you know and then I do plan on getting me a iMac at some point because I just feel like editing on there will probably be a lot easier but if anybody out there would like to gift me something I would love an iMac the pink version the largest largest memory please because i i have a lot of things so i i need the largest storage possible as well um yeah thanks yours truly <laughs> okay number two i think that the trend and the hype of these robot vacuums is something i'm all about okay as you get older vacuuming is just a chore that nobody wants to do I for one love vacuuming I have stolen my mom's vacuum anyways um but literally I think that the whole idea of having a little robot vacuum in your home is just it's superb like I vacuum our hardwood floors sometimes I vacuum my carpet in my room I have a rug um, from Pier One. Like these robot things are just super hype, super dope. Number three, any car accessories, honestly, I feel like is so needed when you're an adult. For example, not everybody has the capability of seeing the GPS on their screen. So there are like those car uh, tripod things that you can literally set your phone on. And some of them are like rechargeable, like wireless rechargeable, um, car mounts or whatever and I think that those are really cool I feel like any little accessory for your car to make the driving experience better and just more hands-free is just super safe and super adultish then also if you don't have like a garage or anything like that like we have a garage but we, we don't park in our garage so 
Um, one thing that my mom got me last year because it was snowing like crazy was one of those car covers so that my car could be covered. We wouldn't have to worry about trying to get out there to get the snow and the ice off of my windshield and my doors and my windows and things like that. So I would just invest in certain car accessories that you need as an adult, especially depending on where you live. You know, I think it's really important to start enhancing what you're doing, how you're doing it, and you know, working smarter and not harder, right? Number four, if you are a coffee drinker, a tea drinker, a frappuccino drinker, anything like that, I suggest you invest in that, right? We spend so much money on coffee, you guys. Like, the amount, the amount of money that we give to Starbucks daily is sickening, bro. And I understand there's some people that are like, that are like, oh, I don't feel like making it today, I'll just buy it. Okay, sis. Then when you go over your finances and you realize you're spending $50 in just one week on coffees, send help. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I say get a Keurig, get an espresso. Um, even this Walmart coffee time, I don't know if it's Walmart or if it's McDonald's. I don't know who made this, but I'll put it on the screen. They have this like Frappuccino coffee, iced coffee machine maker thing. I don't even know. I think that that is so cool. The fact that you can make a Frappuccino at home, bro, that changed the game for your girl. That definitely changed the game for your girl. So yeah, I would invest in a coffee machine. And then if you don't have an ice maker on your fridge or something like that, I would also invest in getting you an a cute ice maker and last but not least number five invest in your wardrobe okay so this is something i actually took advantage of this holiday season so this black friday instead of buying my typical electronics and different things like that i bought christmas presents for my friends and family and then i also bought new clothes new shoes new coats things of that nature um just because when you look good you feel good and I feel like sometimes as adults, we don't necessarily purchase new things when it comes to our wardrobe. We're just so used to dealing with the hustle and bustle of life that when it comes to buying a new shirt or a new crew neck or a new jacket or a new coat or a new pair of boots, you know, you'll do it whenever that old coat, you know, is busted or those old shoes break and, and fall apart and all this other stuff. Instead of just getting into a routine of selectively going through your closet getting rid of things and then bringing in new things but new staple pieces that can be used for years and years to come you know what i mean so i think it's very important to invest in your closet um just because like i said when you look good you feel good and not just you know looking good and feeling good but just taking pride in who you are, who God has created you to be, and being able to dress for whatever the occasion may be. Um, I found that a lot of times I'm looking and searching around for an outfit, you know, at the last minute because boom, we're having a Christmas party, or boom, we're having a, a gala, or boom, we're doing this, or boom, sneaker ball, or you know, all these various things. But if you start getting to a place where you're rotating various different items and pieces into your wardrobe, you won't be caught off guard when it comes time to, you know, go with the flow with what whatever is being asked of you so for example um this weekend we have our new life christmas special uh, our christmas service and the colors are metallics for the ladies so silver uh gold rose gold and things of that nature if i wouldn't have gotten this particular dress for one of my friend's weddings um i wouldn't have had this beautiful gold dress that i'm able to wear instead of purchasing a new dress for the Christmas um, service at New Life, which shout out to Ja for that insight and that game because I was definitely on the interweb searching high and low to find me an outfit for Sunday. But instead, I'm going to save a coin or three and I'm going to just use a dress that I already have in my closet. So again, that is something that only happens when you're investing in yourself and just truly trying to put your best foot forward. So that's all for this video. I just wanted to give you guys my top five gift things that are on my wish list. Um, another thing that's on my wish list is a new camera, whether it be the Canon M50 Mark II 
or it being that new Sony it has like a lot of letters and a few numbers so I don't I don't know what it is but when I see it I know what it is I'll put it on the screen um but that is a bonus point that something that's on my wish list because obviously I want to enhance my YouTube game and I really want to step up my content and things like that and I just think that another camera would just be beneficial um so yeah that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching I want to know what are some of your top items on your Christmas wish list what are you buying what are you interested in purchasing what do you want somebody to purchase for you what are you getting others um giving gifts is really one of my love languages and receiving gifts is also a love language um and so I've already I saw a post today um that said um like basically how people struggle with like keeping gifts uh, a surprise and stuff like that <laughs> which is so me oh my gosh my mom already knows two of her gifts and she wasn't supposed to know them but i just have a problem when i buy something and i'm really excited for you to have it i just can't shut up about it and yeah i have to figure that out because i'm 26 and i'm going to ruin christmas for my children <laughs> if i don't if i keep it up this way um but yeah i'm really excited um thank you guys so much for following along i love you guys so much i hope you like this video if you did please like comment share and subscribe let's get to 300 subscribers by i don't know when by but let's get there soon okay i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next one bye i just wanna wish you a very merry christmas and a 